Music and art bring hope, inspiration, healing, and above all, joy. And that collective energy that we create on stage with the musicians and with the audience that's unique to the moment. It's one of those rare moments when we can come together and be overcome by the sheer beauty of music. It's incredible the level of quality we get from this symphony. Um, given the size of this town. And so we come to it as untutored non-musicians who just love the show. We're in the theater, it seems like, once a week yeah. now, and it's just that time to leave everything else behind and sort of just throw yourself into the beautiful music and do something that we love to do together. We have magic all around us. It's called music. It's, it's a complete magical thing that you can bring life to the audience and people, like 2,000 people in the hall feel that. For me, that's pure magic. It's completely, completely unique. For 125 years, the Oregon Symphony has provided economic and cultural vitality to this region. And in the next 125 years, that won't change. What will change is who's on our stage and how we deliver music, how we think about connecting with our greater community. I think it's an organization that has a very open eye to what's happening in the 21st century, you know, what's, what's going on in society around us. We are a large and accomplished institution that can put on great art, and yet we're small enough still to be nimble, experimental. We're innovators. We have uh, a creative alliance that is full of new composers. They are putting on the stage more commissioned work by women and diverse composers. And I think it's important to have that new perspective because we don't want to become an acoustic museum. We are looking ever for opportunities to reach people on their turf and in their way, whether it's live movies where the orchestra is playing to the big screen, or popular shows from Nas to Wyclef Jean to Guster to Boys to Men and Gladys Knight, and I'm proud that we can do all of that both in the concert hall and beyond. I'm exhilarated for what the, what the future sounds like with the incredible group of instrumentalists on our stage, the team, the volunteers, the donors. We've got all of the raw ingredients to really be bullish about our future together. It's incredible what we're doing and sort of on every measure, you can feel good about this organization. I think the future of the Oregon Symphony is very bright. The orchestra is fantastic and I'm not getting tired to say that this is one of the great orchestras in America. And I would say you have a responsibility and a duty to support it if we're going to have the kind of community that we want to have. Without the support of the community, no symphony orchestra that can be successful. It's, it's we are there for the community and the community is there for us. We can continue supporting young musicians. We can continue our community outreach programs. We can continue commissioning pieces. We can continue supporting the music in the classrooms. What the next 125 years will need starts today.